Welcome to another edition of the server review. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be teaching you how to create batch scripts to load up servers immediately without having to go through the main menu and type in the server IP and remembering everything. So let's go ahead and check that what I have set up here. I have a Minecraft game file right here and I created a folder which is just the icon so it opens up a folder and as you can see here I have a batch script which is a new feature for the Minecraft launcher. If you haven't seen it let me go ahead and open it and it's pretty cool it's got the Minecraft news we have the uh, blog sites and link sites to all the good things about Minecraft we have their Twitter so you can follow them and check them out and at the same time here's a launcher we have some more options as far as we can do a force update and it's a very nice update it looks really good and I'm really happy to see it and the, one of the coolest features you can do which we can show you right here is the new way to log into the game let's say I'm gonna log in and I have to wait click connect well I'm gonna save you all those steps by showing how to create these easy files here so I'm gonna go ahead and close this game and show you create this batch script right here here for Windows all you need to do is look I'm just gonna click on this it's gonna launch our script it's gonna open the game log in automatically and join the server automatically without even having to touch anything at all so I'm gonna teach you how to create a custom batch script so let's go ahead and create a new file we're gonna go ahead and go right click new new text document so let's go ahead and type in let's say test server I don't know we have to make sure we remove the txt and leave the dot and replace the txt with bat that will make it a batch script file and then it's gonna say oh no file might become unstable well definitely do it because we want it to turn into a bat file once you're done right click on it and click on edit and this will open up notepad so this is what you do all you need to do is type for at echo space off new line and we're going to be looking for the location see i have a shortcut here remember we're going to look the, for the location of the exe on your computer so i'm going to go ahead and open and find it and go to your location of where the minecraft executable is located as well so i put in a for my program files labeled minecraft and there is the executable so if you have a windows 7 you're going to see this you know the, the file path all you need to do is just click on the open space and it goes to here so I'm going to go ahead and copy that location and then add the minecraft.exe at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and do paste that in. And I am going to remember to add the backslash minecraft.exe. So here's my file path right here. And this goes right to the exe. So I am going to do space right after that and type in my username, which is Chad the DJ. And after that, I'm going to do space password. I'm not going to type in my password in front of you guys, but this is where the password will be and you type in there and then you go space one more then you type in the server IP and port. So I will type in my server which is mc.mctsr.net and it is the default port so I don't need to really type it in but just in case I'm going to do 255 up oh, 5565 which is the default Minecraft port. I am going to save this file we're gonna close it and I'm gonna get out of there and go back to my file so here's my test script right there I'm gonna double click on it it's gonna launch the game gonna log in it's gonna load the game it's just gonna go right into the server that is sweet and this is gonna be a really nice workaround since we don't have favorites in game close this game out is that if you have multiple servers like say oh I want to join dead Mouse's server so let's go ahead and create a batch script for that I'm just gonna copy this and paste it and make a copy of it and I'm going to call this now five bill you know, for people that keep want to check in to see if the server is open, I'm going to edit the file. I already have it already pre-made, but I'm just going to change the server, which is uh, mal5vil.com. Oh. And it, again, it's the default port, which is 25565. Let's go ahead and double click on that. It's going to launch the game, load it, and I'm pretty sure his server is offline according to my website. Yep, his server is offline, but at least it try to connect. So, I hope you guys enjoy this tool. I know for sure it's definitely going to be very useful. Again, this is Chad Dunbar from the Server Review. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.